This is Tuck with Tuck GC. We just finished up one of the most difficult projects that we ever did. Not because of the concrete work, that's the easy part. We do it every day, but it was really the location and the access in and out of the site. You can see here, we have very busy road. I mean, it's after hours now, so traffic has slowed down, but the cars roll through here at 50 miles an hour, no shoulder, you know, five lanes across with the turning lane, and it was pretty intense. So you're required to get a permit to do this type of work. We had a traffic control permit with the proper traffic control, and then an ingress, egress permit all through the Department of Transportation here in Virginia. Now getting back to the project, um, it wasn't easy. I mean, I, I wanna be honest. I mean, this was a pretty tough job. We have a lot of drainage work here, so we tied in all the downspouts with the proper clean outs and nice uh, NDS fittings and triple wall pipe. Did an ACO drain there, because obviously the water's running down this hill can get into the garage, so we're protecting that structure, and just really came out nicely. When you look at these control joints, you know, the purpose of these joints is the concrete's gonna crack, so you wanna tell it where to crack. These pieces here are always prone to cracking, so isolating them with control joints is really critical. We try to make all the joints the same size, and when it's a square like this, it's easy, very easy. But when you have all these different angles and entrance points and all that, we're trying to prevent the cracking from spreading across the slab. So even though we want them to be aesthetically pleasing, we also want them to be functional. And in this case, the function went over the aesthetics to make it work. Everything is pitched properly. We have slope going this way. We were able to keep this fairly level at the door, but the slab does have fall that way. And you can see it all slides down this hill and goes around to the back. On that note, let's head around back and see what we have going on. Real quick shout out to my client. He did this patio himself. Amazing, very proud of you. Replaced, um, there was uh, columns coming down here, put in a structural beam to open this up. Very nice, we did not do that work. He did it himself, which is highly impressive. A lot of work. Here's a look at that ACO drain. Very cool, all the water's gonna run out here. We have a lot of pitch coming down here. We always isolate it with these joints on both sides because again prone to cracking in those areas so hiding those is key all the pipes come back here to a pop-up he has plans in the future to do some river rock and kind of make a little rain garden here which will be cool but everything goes around from the side here i think they have this to block the dogs that are coming back from doggy daycare but let me sneak through all the pipes run through this area along the garage And then here's a view from the backside with that ACO drain. The um, metal grate pieces are actually in the garage and we'll install those once this dries. Looks good. And here's one parting shot. So give us a call for any of your concrete work. Even if it's uh, tough jobs with hard access and traffic control and all that, we can handle it. Thanks for watching the video as always, and I look forward to hearing from you soon to give you a quote on your project. Take care.